Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is drawing 3 under isometric drawing. So if you missed the previous two drawings that we did, uh, kindly check the description of this video. I will leave a link to those videos. So before you start any drawing under isometric drawing, it's first of, uh, the first thing you have to do is first of all understand what you want to draw. So this is what you are drawing now and I want us to look at it very closely. Now this is almost similar to the one, uh, the drawing we did in drawing 2. The difference is there is, an, uh, there is a cut here. So this is what we did in drawing, drawing two. But so and why this is drawing three? But if you look at it, this drawing three, there's something like uh, a small part of it was cut out. So instead of having just something plain like this, so this is what we are going to be doing. So to start with, so let's draw a line, a horizontal line. This pencil is more lighter. So since we already have our line, so let's draw the vertical line. And if you are new to PA Academy that you are yet to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button at the lower right of your screen. It's absolutely free to subscribe. It's absolutely free. It helps on our own side, it helps the channel to grow. So do make sure you click on that subscribe button. So now you note I've drawn the vertical line and then this um this horizontal and the vertical line. So now you notice the point of intersection. So having done that, you bring in your set square. So I believe if you have been watching this from the introduction then the, to the last two drawings that we've done, that we did, uh, I believe you should be familiar with all of these steps by now. So from this point, you draw your line. Then you turn your set square the other way. So now we take the measurements for the sides. So I hope you can see it. So on this side, we are having it to be 50, uh, 50 mm. That is 5 cm. So let me measure my 5 cm. So, so that is the five centimeter mark. Why from here to here, you can see the length is indicated at this side. It's four centimeter. So let me mark the four centimeter. So why this vertical height here is um, the total is 2 cm, you can see it is indicated here. So I'm going to measure the 2 cm here. Alright. So having done that, you bring in back your, your set, I mean your T square. And your set square. So you make sure your set square is resting on your T square. So from this point here, Draw a line. I hope you can see it, but don't worry if you are not seeing, just follow along. Like I said, the reason why we are starting with faint line is just is a way of that's just one of the best ways, especially for beginners, to reduce errors. So so this is the line. So you bring back your set square, you place it on it. So from this point where we mark the four centimeter draw this vertical line like this you do the same thing here just hope you can see these things so let me just go over some of these lines so that um, it can be a little clearer for you in the camera But just make sure that it is faint, you know. Just make sure they are faint lines. So 
so I think it is better like this. It's looking a little bit more better. So now all this this vertical line, so where it is touching the one at the top, you note the points here. It is touching it here. So you bring back your set square. So you adjust it to that point, to this point here. Draw that line, turn it like this. So now we already have um, the rectangle. You said what is left now is for us to get this portion, this portion that is cut out of it. So you can see, let's do that. So if you look at it now. So the height of the portion that is cut out is just um, 0.5 centimeter. That is 5 millimeter. So let's measure that. So this is. So that is the 5 um, 5 millimeter. Why the distance from here to here of the part that is cut out is um, 1.5 centimeter. So let me measure uh, 1.5. I can measure it from. Um, this part of the drawing so 1.5 and then on this side it is one centimeter so this is one centimeter so those are the, I think those are the three things that we are just going to measure so I haven't gotten those points you bring back your set square So from this point on that one centimeter, you just draw a line downward a bit. So from here you draw it downward a bit, and then you adjust. So now we want to draw this line from here to here. So we do that. So having done that, now from this top again, we are going to repeat the same thing from these two points, from here and from here. You bring in your set square. You turn it the other way. So from the point of intersection here, you draw a line straight, you draw a line down. So make sure just approximately the height, that is approximately a line of uh, 5 millimeter, that's 0 0.5 centimeter. So you have that line, so this is it here. And then you bring in your, your set square. Now, from that, you can see you don't, we don't need to measure any, anything. After doing, taking those three measurements I took earlier, we don't need to take anything, any other measurement. Now, from this point, we are going to draw a line to this, uh, to come and touch this like the vertical line that we, we are having here. Okay, so I said from this point, from this point, we are going to draw a line to come and touch this particular line. So, in doing that, you bring back your set square, you adjust it to get to that point. So you can see once it gets to that point from here, you draw a line to come and touch this line here. You can see, you do the same thing. You turn it the other way around. So from this point here, remember from here to here represents, from here to here represents 0 0.5 centimeter. So once we do that from here, we draw a line to come and touch it. So now we've been able to get this portion. So now let's make everything with bold lines so that we see what we are doing. So we can get a full picture of what we've just done. So 
So if you are finding value, please give it a thumbs up. And also click on that subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy. And like I said in the previous video, do make sure you also uh, put pencil to paper and you practice all these things. Don't just watch the video alone. Don't just watch the video alone. Make sure you practice it. So this one will stop here. Stop at this point. So this is what it's currently looking like. So now let's work on this inside. So we are really going to make the lines that matters, you know, we are going to make it gold. So with this now, we've been able to replicate this particular drawing, we've been able to replicate it here. So you can see, that's why I said when you are starting, you start with a very faint line. So once you are done with all your drawing and you are sure of it, then you can now make it with a bold line, that's uh, with an eye outline. So now that we've gotten our drawing, so let's indicate um, the dimensions. So. So this is... Um, from here to here is, is two centimeter. Then um, from here to here is it's four centimeter. And then um, which other side? Okay. why this is um, five centimeter and why the length from this particular point to this point here is uh, 1.5 centimeter so let's indicate that so from here so this is 1.5 centimeter and why from here to here is just one centimeter So one centimeter. So there's no need to indicate the uh, the distance from here to here because it's the same thing here. Four centimeter, also four centimeter. Same thing applies. There's no need to indicate the length from here to here because it's already indicated here. So the only thing we are going to indicate here is the distance from here to here, which is um, 0 0.5 centimeter. So. So 0 0.5 centimeter. Then you can also indicate this that this is 30 degrees. So so that is it for drawing C3. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And so in the next part of this video, which is drawing four, so that drawing four will be coming up immediately after this video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in drawing four.